everybody. <laughs> I love it when his little thing goes. I don't really have it at a good angle there. That's better. Hey, everybody. All right, good morning. Hey, my name is Whitney Nicely East, and I am the principal broker for Whitney Buys Houses. I got on my jacket today. I'm having a um, casual Friday. So uh, I am also the principal auctioneer for Nicely Done Auctions. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> I did, sometimes I do buy unicorns. They are out there. <laughs> good morning. Um, so this, today's topic, did I say I was an auctioneer? I'm an auctioneer for Nicely Done Auctions and I am looking for million dollar lake houses, big tracts of timberland, um, fancy stuff. So if you have any leads on those, you can send them to me, info at WhitneyNicely.com. I got three leads on apartment complexes yesterday. So I guess apartment complexes are hot these days because I got three leads. So send me whatever you get. All right, now today's topic of the day, Real Estate Daily, is the asking price. And a lot of new investors get confused between the asking price and how people came up with that and everything. So... The asking price is basically what the sellers are asking for it. And sometimes they are spot on. And sometimes it's a unicorn. Like just completely made up. They have no idea where they came up with it. They have nothing to put it against. They have no reason to be asking that much. And it's a unicorn. It just, it just doesn't hardly exist. So what I'm saying is the asking price. If the sellers are asking, let's use regular numbers again. If the sellers are asking $100,000 and the house is worth $100,000, then as an investor, it's going to be very difficult for you to buy it for $100,000 and make any money. And if you're an investor and you're full-time in real estate making money on flips or lease options or owner financing, then you need to have some way of making money. And if they're asking 110 or 120 and you think it's worth 100, that's when I say it's a unicorn. Like that's just not going to happen. Now, if they if the sellers know that there's a lot of work that needs to be done and that you are in real estate to make money, then it's very possible that they would say, "All right, I know this house is worth 100,000. I'll sell it to you for 799." All right, that's a little bit better. But still, if you're basically asking eighty thousand for it and it's worth a hundred, and I got to spend twenty or twenty-five on it, then I'm up to a hundred or hundred and five, and I can't make any money again. So you really got to consider the asking price. And on my seller lead sheets, which I sell on my website and are included in all my coaching programs, I'll say what is the asking price. All right. Well, how did you come up with that number? And if they say that's what the tax appraisal is on it, okay, fine. If that's what a bank appraisal is on it, okay, fine. But what if that is what they need to pay off their loan? What if they have a, a mortgage on this property and they owe 100000 it's worth 100000 and they can't afford to pay a regular agent to come in and sell it and pay them commission? That is when you can structure a subject to deal. And that is what I will teach you in coaching. So if you want to get into deals like that, if you're wholesaling and you come up across deals like that all the time and you know there's people out there making money on those, yes there are people out there making money on those and I know how to get you through that situation. So if you have any questions on that, if you have any questions on comps, if you have any questions on any kind of real estate stuff, especially the asking price and how to kind of negotiate the asking price, that's what we're talking about today. So send me any questions. You can put them up here on the Periscope if you want to, or you can email me info at WhitneyNicely.com and I'll try to answer your email within the day. Uh, I have a coaching client this afternoon from California. Uh, she's on her second week of month-long coaching and she's doing fabulous. Uh, our group coaching, we just finished our second week yesterday and it's WhitneyNicely.com. My website is WhitneyNicely.com. Whitney like Houston, nicely like nicely done auctions. W-H-I-T-N-E-Y-N-I-C-E-L-Y. WhitneyNicely.com. So check all that out. I got all my coaching packages up there. 
and I got some products. Oh, I'm so excited. I talked to uh, somebody the other day. I'm not familiar with New York Subject 2 laws, but I know the basic Subject 2 laws about across the country, and I can look into New York, but it should be pretty similar to everybody else's. Um, but I can work through the basics with you. But I talked to uh, Kristen Smith, the BizTechpreneur, and she and I are going to work on a way that I have seller leads coming in all the time from a website. Just all the time I've got seller leads coming in. In, 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 in. From sellers, direct sellers, and from wholesalers, from agents, I get leads all the time. So I'm going to work on putting um, a package out there where you could buy a website tailored towards your area and your expertise. Whatever kind of sellers you need coming in, I'm going to be working on launching that probably by the end of the month. So look forward to that. Um, again, if you have any questions, email me, info at WhitneyNicely.com. My phone just beeped, so it may be somebody already sent me an email. Um, but anyway, I hope you all have a good weekend. I'll have more Real Estate Daily coming up throughout the rest of the month. And if you have any other kind of specific questions, let me know. If you have any leads, you can send those to me also. All right. I hope everybody has a great day. I appreciate your time. And, oh, don't forget Valentine's Day is this weekend, so buy something for your sweetie. Bye, y'all. Mm.